Okay. Now, there can be various situations in respect of issue of debentures. Right? The situation can be that you issue the debentures at par, okay, and redeem them at par. So let's see what are these situations. You can issue at par and redeem at par, okay, or issue at par and redeem at premium, right? Similarly, you can issue at discount and redeem at par or premium or you issue at premium okay, and you redeem either at par or at premium. So there could be these six situations insofar as issue of debentures is concerned. In this particular lecture or video, I am going to explain to you what happens when you issue the debentures at par and redeem also at par. So in this particular question, you are told that XYZ Limited issued 20,000 debentures of rupees 100 each, okay, which is payable at the time of application, right? So 20,000 into 100 or twenty lakh or twenty hundred thousand as you may call it is payable at the time of application. Right? And such debentures can be redeemed at par. So the redemption price is also twenty hundred thousand. I call this as RP and I call this as IP. IP means the issue price and RP means the redemption price. Right? So when the issue price and the redemption price are equal, what will happen is that there is no discount, there is no premium. Right? So the first event happens when you receive the debenture application money. So at the time of receive of debenture application money, you will get the money in the bank. So you debit your bank account, right? And you receive this money on account of what? To debenture application account. Why? Because you receive this money on account of debenture application being some received on account of debenture application on 20,000 debentures at the rate of 100. Then this debenture application account is nothing but the sum received on account of issue of debentures so you debit it and you transfer it to debenture account. In this case the coupon rate of the debentures is not given so we just credit it to debenture account. Right? So these are the entries basically that you make at the time of issue of these debentures. Ultimately, whenever you have to make a payment, the entry which is there is going to be common. So you will debit the debenture account, let's say after six years, you redeem the debenture, so you pay the debentures. So this liability in the form of debenture is reduced, is discharged. Liability is a credit account. To reduce it, you have to debit it. So you debit the debenture account by 20 lakh because that's the amount that you have to pay for debentures and you credit your bank account by equivalent amount. Right? So these are the accounting entries that you do when you issue a debenture at par and also redeem them at par. 